Jamie here from Stroller Spa, and today I'm going to show you how to prepare your Bugaboo Stroller for shipping. So oftentimes we get customers that call us from out of state or even out of city that require repairs on their Bugaboo, and they need to ship it to one of our locations. So the best way to do these, if it's just a repair and not a cleaning, is to remove the components that don't need to be looked at. So let's remove the heaviest components and get the stroller ready for shipping. So the first thing that we want to do is to remove our seat frame. As you can tell, this seat frame doesn't have any fabric on it. I've already taken it off. So let's take a look at the buttons. As you know, the square, the round buttons are what tilt the seat back and forth. What you want to do is press the square seat buttons. And of course, if you have a bugaboo, you know that all of the white buttons on the stroller do something. So we're going to press the two square buttons simultaneously and pop this guy off. Next, what we're going to want to do is take off our underseat bag. Unless, of course, this guy has some mending or some cleaning that requires attention from us. Otherwise, we'll just remove all of the Velcro from the four straps and pop that aside. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take off these front swivel wheels. So if you have a Generation 1 or Generation 2, Bugaboo, Frog, or Chameleon, you're going to want to squeeze in on these two divots here and let gravity pull these front swivel wheels out. If you have a Generation 3, there's going to be a white button that you press on the back and it'll slide right out. If you're having difficulty getting these guys out, if you have a Frog 2004, 5, or 6, you might want to use some tools to press in on the divots to let it slide right out. You can also use a touch of silicone lubricant and let it work its way in before it slides right out. So let's get this guy. There we go. Next, we'll want to take off these two rear wheels. They're really heavy and we want to make sure that we don't waste our dime shipping them to the location when they don't need to be. So let's take both of these guys off. What I'm doing on a generation one and two, I'm pressing the butterfly clip in the back. So it's one metal clip, you squeeze it together and slide the wheel right out. If you're having difficulty sliding the wheel out, it could be because your brake is engaged. So just make sure that your brake is disengaged first before attempting to take the wheels off. So I'm gonna take this last guy out. Another thing to remember is when you're taking anything off of your stroller, either because you're preparing to ship it or because you're preparing to clean it, just make sure you put it all together. I just like to put it in a box, and if possible, take a few pictures of the stroller before and after. Not only because it'll help you keep track of your things, but you'll be much happier with the work when it's, uh, when it's done to have a before and after. The last thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure if you have a chameleon or, or uh, a bee, that you slide your, uh, your telescoping handlebar all the way down, just so it's nice and tight. Make sure all cup holders and console um, systems are off and that your stroller is labeled and ready to go. If you have any questions about shipping your stroller, you can certainly contact your local USPS, FedEx, UPS, or your local stroller spa and we'll help you make shipping arrangements. Thank you, thank you and look forward to seeing your stroller very soon.